Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. Today, we're going to be discussing Remus Lupin and Sirius Black. More specifically, we're going to be addressing why it is that Remus Lupin never even seemed to bat an eyelid at Sirius's conviction. Yes, he was upset about everything that happened, but as far as Sirius's innocence is concerned, you would have thought that Remus, one of his best friends, would have tried harder to uncover the truth. Remus Lupin and Sirius Black met at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry in the 1970s, 1971 to be exact, and it was here that they also formed friendships with James Potter and Peter Pettigrew. Before the sorting ceremony even happened, the four boys hit it off, and when they were eventually sorted into the same house, Gryffindor, they knew that they were destined to be friends. Though the boys got on with many of their other classmates, this particular group of four boys had a truly special bond, and they eventually came up with a name for their group. They were the Marauders. They were all huge troublemakers, hellbent on breaking rules and causing mischief, and it was their common interest that helped to foster the deep friendships that these four boys would form. Their group existed for the duration of the time that they spent at Hogwarts, and after graduating, they even all went on to join the Order of the Phoenix, a secret society founded by Dumbledore that opposed Lord Voldemort. The friendship that the four boys shared ran deep, really deep. So who would have thought that it would all fall to pieces three years after their graduation? In 1981, Peter Pettigrew defected from the Order of the Phoenix and joined the Death Eaters. Shortly thereafter, he revealed the location of the Potter Cottage to Voldemort, effectively signing the Potter family's death warrants. Sirius Black, after discovering what Peter had done, went out to find Pettigrew and seek justice, but it was here that Sirius would condemn himself to Azkaban. Knowing that Sirius might come for him, Peter was able to effectively frame Sirius for the murder of twelve muggles, as well as himself. From this day onward, Sirius's name and reputation was tarnished. Not only did people think he was a crazed wizard who had murdered twelve muggles, but they also thought he exposed the Potters. And that should be expected, because most of these people didn't know Sirius personally. But in a world where everyone is against you, you should always be able to turn to your lifelong friends for support. But for Sirius, the only remaining marauder kicking around, Remus Lupin, wanted nothing to do with him. Why? Didn't Remus wonder why Sirius would commit these atrocities? Wouldn't he have wondered how Sirius even had it in him? They were brothers. If one of my best friends killed another one of my best friends, I'd certainly be asking some questions. What happened here? In essence, Remus Lupin truly believed that Sirius Black was a guilty man, and it's for a number of reasons. First of all, Remus was under the impression that Sirius Black was the Potter's secret keeper, aka the only person with knowledge of where the Potters were hiding. This irrefutable piece of evidence would have been one of the hardest things to ignore. Second of all, Peter did such a good job of framing Sirius that it truly looked as if he had killed both the Muggles and Peter himself. The fact that he was caught at the scene of the crime laughing hysterically did nothing for his case. Next, Sirius came from the House of Black, a house rich with pure-blood supremacists and evil witches wizards. From Remus's perspective, maybe this was just Sirius finally showing his true colors. Lastly, all of the other people that Remus respected, people like Order of the Phoenix leader Albus Dumbledore, also appeared to believe that Sirius was guilty. If Albus Dumbledore, one of the wisest wizards around, believes it, then it makes sense that this would have rubbed off on Remus. In a perfect world, I suppose Remus could have ignored all of this and gone straight to Sirius, but with overwhelming evidence against his childhood friend, things just didn't work out that way. And that's it for this video. If you enjoy the content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. What video next? Until next time, remember, it is the quality of one's convictions that determine success, not the number of followers.